hello everyone welcome back to the channel it's me tony your resident tarot reader today to bring in some messages from your person we're going to see how your person is currently perceiving the relationship so take the message as it resonates for you guys today this is a little bit of a more intentional reading all right let's get your energies like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow and i can pull in more of your energies and more of your person's energies focus on your person at this time right? this reading is uh it's gonna find you whenever it's meant to so timeless no zodiac required this is another all sign collective general reading but yeah we're gonna see what's the direction of this connection and how your person is currently perceiving this connection this relationship this energetic meshing between you guys right so whether you're single or in a relationship or right, you're in a dating phase courting or don't even know you're about to be dating or courting right your person could be coming towards you so again this could be their thoughts their feelings their emotions or how they're perceiving this current relationship or connection with you at this time now how does that sound sit back and relax and enjoy the therapeutic session as i channel your energies and your person's energies Let's see through the wiser tarot deck today. Let's go and get these energies primed. Hopefully you guys have been having a good day today. It's been a late start for me today. I had some checkups and appointments I had to go to. And uh, yeah, we're back at it. Yesterday, I, I got to do a live. <laughs> I did an impromptu live yesterday. Did you guys watch it? Did it get over 100 views yet? <laughs> and at least 10 likes. <laughs> Let's see. Um... I think I may be unveiling uh, one of the new tarot decks soon, right? I can't wait. I can't wait. We can't wait until Friday. So we'll probably do it at some point. Maybe I'll do it today. Yeah. I want to start doing um, pick a card readings, uh, pick a deck readings, right? Remember when I first got to YouTube, one of my favorite readers was um, Indigo Mystery, right? She felt my energy and she's like, what? <laughs> Who is this sexy beast coming out of nowhere? Right? I was kind of blushing a little bit. Those are back in the days. So. True intuitive energy readers. Mm -hmm. Everything that was said back then is manifesting. It's crazy. But let's see. Let's see how your person is currently feeling about your connection or relationship. What they would want to say, right? Or what possibly what they what they don't want to say, right? What they're just hiding in their head and how they're feeling about you and this connection. Let's get it. <clears throat> let's get intuitive, right? I think I need a new intro. <laughs> but you know me, I just get on this bitch and start freestyling. I have a heart attack on this mug. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I don't really need to change up anything, right? People have always said throughout my 9 to 5 career that they like my voice, right? Some people even say I need to be a voice actor. Even just recently, it hasn't even been 24 hours. Like, every day someone's like, I can listen to you all day. <laughs> you have a nice voice. Someone just told me that I should be a journalist. I'm like, well, <laughs> this is sort of what I do, right? I think the next reading I want to do is going to be something personal for me. But I mean, if you vibrate on the same level of me or, the, you know, you're my soul tribe, it's probably going to resonate for you as well. I want to take a look at see what my person's up to. Right. Where where on earth is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> and I have my new another new deck as well. The mythic. Uh, what is it? Yeah, the, the mythic tarot, the mythic goddess. This is the one that I wanted to do when I was um, when I was doing a collaboration with Ari, and she wanted me to read her um, her Cancer Moon sign energy. This is the deck that I wanted to use. Where I ended up buying the wiser the wiser tarot deck, just to go back to like um, the basics. And yeah, I'll be doing another reading for her with that deck. All right, let's get into it. 4.44 on the timer. Let us begin. What is your person feeling about this connection? What do they want to say to you? Let's get a short and sweet message. The highest messages of love and life. 
per your person's perspective or view. One more shuffle and then we'll start. All right, so how's it collect like this person's, their lover viewing this connection at this time? All right, nine of pentacles, not bad. So they're basically viewing you as um, attractive, very stable, very grounded. Mm -hmm. My favorite word to use for the Nine of Pentacles, very luxurious. Right? They can see a harvest with you as well. Mm -hmm. So this is how your person is viewing you. Let's pull the first five and see what they're feeling, thinking, or what's their stance towards you. And in regards to this relationship, how they're viewing this relationship between you guys. Seven of Pentacles, growing. It's growing and growing and growing. They're watching it. They're maintaining it. Mm -hmm. It's Seven of Pentacles is for me. It's not only my hourglass card, but it's investments. So, yeah, they've been spending time um, watching you grow, basically. They're possibly waiting on the proper time to invest in you, right? So, I mean, if you're already in a relationship, they can be... Waiting on a proper time to invest in like maybe a marriage or an engagement or something like that. Because they, they want to continue to grow this relationship. Possibly if you're single. <clears throat> or this person has been spectating because it looks like they're watching you. right? <laughs> if you are the Nine of Pentacles, even though this is the Seven of Pentacles. If you are the Nine of Pentacles, they're watching you get better. What else here? Two of Swords. Block communication. Mm hmm they may feel like they don't have adequate access to you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you work a lot, possibly, is what this person's feeling about this connection or this relationship. Maybe you don't have a, a, yeah, a lot of time to communicate here. I'm even getting traveling vibes. Maybe a person feels like you travel too much. <laughs> you work too much and you travel too much. <laughs> Who are you, Donald Trump? Yeah, I knew it. I was going to say that. I was going to say, damn, I hope I don't see three of swords. And here we go. Yep. Your person. So they value the connection, but they feel like they're not getting enough of your attention. Yeah. Again, it reminds me of a woman or a man that's like, oh, <laughs> it's like you take the time out to text them and they're like, well, why don't you call me? And then you start taking the time out to call them and they're like, well, why don't you come and see me? <laughs> And then, you know, it, it keeps going. It keeps escalating, right? Oh, you go to see them. And they're like, oh, well, why don't you stay a little bit longer? And it's like, <laughs> right? A man, with, a man with money has no time, right? And a man with time has no money, right? I can only speak as a man. Do you want me to be cuddled up with you all day long? Or do you want me to, or do you like this abundance here? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. They see growth and potential in you here. Let's see what the fourth card is. The King of Pentacles. So, yeah, they view you as being, yeah, a very supportive, very stable. Like you are the, the financier, pretty much. Right? The uh, mature man or Mr. Moneybags, right? The sugar daddy, right? Or if, if you're, the, you're a feminine watching this, you're the sugar mama. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm about to start associating with the King of Pentacles? You can have whatever you like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven of Wands. So your person, ooh, they're guarded of you. They're defensive about this relationship too. Because it looks like they know what they have here. Like a very successful person, possibly very attractive as well, right? It's almost like they're selfish of you. Like, it reminds me of that Slum Village Kanye West song, Selfish, right? Now, imagine if that was a group of chicks that made that song, right? But no, they waste time making songs like, I'm a survivor, I'm a, I'm not, whatever the lyrics is, like, I don't want no scrub, scrub is a guy that can't get me. <laughs> oh, man. Women can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, um, this isn't, this isn't going to be a long reading. <laughs> Let's clarify the seven of pentacles here. 
the full card mm. yeah so you could be dealing with an Aries or your person could be feeling quite foolish right it's indicative of taking a leap of faith <clears throat> again if they haven't already made an offer or invested in you they don't want to lose out on you and they're about to or they want to otherwise they're going to view this as like a missed opportunity right not fulfilling of the heart's desire they may view you as a heartbreaker they may view you as a heartbreaker I'm almost getting that this person feels like you turned them down like you might have even if you're in a relationship or married to this person right this person feels like you turned them down right or like okay so let me say it in a different way you this person's used to you spoiling them or something like that and you possibly told them no for the first time or something like that and now they feel like you don't love them or something <laughs> yeah uh, yeah I've dated, I've dated some very beautiful and this is why like beauty to me is not I mean it's always going to be something to me but beauty like being a number one thing on my list is like no because these women are the ones that are used to being told yes and being sent to and being spoiled all the time so when you tell them no for the first time they lose their mind right I watched one of my friends get into an argument with a Jewish woman one time right and he said something that we hear. He said something to her that we see, we hear every day on a daily basis. And she like caught a heart attack and started crying and said, no one's ever said anything like that to me before. And it's like, really, really, where do you live? In some shelter community? Stop playing, right? You went to public school like the rest of us. <laughs> and she's married to a black dude right now. I don't know why I had to throw that in there. I just needed to give you some perspective because... <laughs> you know intermingling of a culture and then gonna be like oh no one's never said that to me before it's like <laughs> I made her cry one time and I didn't even say anything to her she just knew that she went way out of her boundaries by saying and acting a certain way to me that when she tried to come to me and apologize she just bust out crying because I probably had so much of a resting bitch on my bed. And she's a Capricorn, too. <laughs> oh, you know how there's enmity between me and Capricorn, baby. <laughs> Anyways, let me stop giving you guys my personal stories. Let's clarify this too. This is the energy this person's feeling, though, right? We're still cool, but don't ever think you can disrespect me, right? I make grown men cry, right? I told you guys I got in a fist fight yesterday. These guys are so emotional. That they wanted to fight. <laughs> King of Cups. Yeah, they're, they're infatuated with you. They love you a lot. Love is blind is what I'm getting. Yeah, love probably could have grew on this person. Yeah, because they're watching you grow. The more they watch you grow, or the more they watch you, the more in love they, um, the more in love they fall. Yeah, because he's about to fall. Foolish. He's about to get ready to fall over this cliff. <laughs> but he don't care because what's that R. Kelly song? Step in the name of love. Step in the name of love. <laughs> Man, I hate getting sick. Let's see. Let's clarify this three of swords. Three of pentacles. Yeah, they view, they view you as a heartbreaker. There's a song like that, too. I just It's not coming to mind. It's like hanging at the, the off one of these threads of hair. Like I, It's not fully coming to my, head, my mind right now. I can't wait to put cowrie shells in my hair. And all types of gems. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> it could be afraid. It could be that they're afraid to come towards you right now. Like if you're already in a relationship. They don't want to interrupt your business or something like that. Or they don't want to interrupt your flow. Or something like that. But if you're not in a relationship with this person yet. And this is incoming. Um, they just feel like they haven't been able to corner you yet. Not in, a, not in a toxic, negative way, but they haven't been able to, like, um, directly communicate with you in regards to their feelings, right? They definitely want to invest, though. They definitely want to let you know how they feel. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles that they're viewing you as, right? Ten of Swords. Yeah, they feel like you're super busy. Mm, this is completion, the closing out of the toxic cycle toxic cycle so they could feel like you got, you got a million and one things on your mind and they don't want to be another thing 
um, added onto their plate that would be like a distraction or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can never know, right? You could very well be waiting on this person to come in, right? Pause. And they're just like, I don't know the, the right time. Like, I've experienced it before. Like, you can never tell, right? You never know what that woman's thinking or what that man's thinking. They're probably waiting on you to approach them, right? Or you're probably waiting on this person to approach you. And yet they're like, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, but they definitely um, are defensive. They would definitely be heartbroken if someone else got you. I'll put it that way. The sun card coming out on top of the seven of pentacles. I'm sorry, the seven of wands. Which is joy, right? It's wish fulfillment and happiness. Having a bright disposition, a child even. Very creative energy. Mm. Let's do a quick clarify here because I can't resist. I want to know what else this person feels about you. But the whole point is they like you a lot. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, they have a strong desire to link up with you. We got the Fool, the King of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Sun card. Hmm. The Eight of Cups, yeah, indicative of detachment or the distance in this relationship. I'm almost getting distracted vibes. We could have a runner and a chaser here. The King of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, a slow moving offer. It reminds me of Wiley Coyote and um, that damn road runner. Mm hmm. The Three of Wands and the Three of Swords, the King of Wands, the passion, the sexual aggression, the creativity, the strategy here. Yeah, they're manifesting this. Now, this person could have recently come out of some sort of a breakup or a heartbreak situation, right? It also reminds me of that annoying thing women do when they feel like they don't get enough of your attention, so they just... They just start acting weird, like they'll just stand in front of you doing weird stuff, right? They're intentionally getting your way and start acting like a child until you start paying attention to them. <laughs> Talking about who who matures faster, right? You have grown as women doing some of the most immature things to get a man's attention, <laughs> right? And it's the other way around too as well, right? Men do some of the most immature things to get a woman's attention. Ten of Swords and the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. So it's descending here. Yeah, they just think about you a lot, an obsession. It feels like an obsession. Ooh, we could actually have spell work here. <laughs> the crazy part is that shit's going to backfire because it feels like you have very strong energy here. Where it's, you know what it's kind of like, um, out of sight, out of mind or something like that, or, um, I don't even know if I want to dive that deep into it, but it seems like you have a strong energy about you, right? So it's just like, if this person tries to, tries to do it, yeah, that's, that's what's probably making them upset too with the seven of wands. They're trying to do love magic on you. This would be like a woman, like putting on her Sunday's best, right? You know, getting her lashes and makeup done, get her face beat to the gods, right? Find the best outfit. Again, sex magic. She feels that your favorite color is red, so now she's walking around with red hair and red dresses and red lipstick, right? And then she can't get the attention that she wants. That sex magic failed, right? Because you're dealing with someone that has integrity, standards, and boundaries. Not anyone can get got, right? Even, um, what's that? giant that got felled by David even he got defeated by a dude with a slingshot right so yeah and again even me like and when I see women acting like that I'm like you trying too hard like I'm not even looking at you I'm looking past you now how stupid are you do you look right now right or do you feel the ace of swords like I tell no lies the truth right show me the real you your true authentic self not what you think 
I like, right? Did you even have a conversation with me yet? But this person that's coming towards you, um, they really want to have a conversation with you. I ain't even going to front. Possibly dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The sword is indicative of the truth, right? Some sort of a discernment, an aha moment, or a new perspective. Could even be an enlightenment, a.k.a. a download. I'm getting um, synchronicities, right? So repeating numbers for some of you guys, or repeating symbols even. Ooh, some of you guys speak multiple languages. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Under the deck here. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, this person. There's competition around <laughs> this. <laughs> there's competition around this person. So there's a fight here or some sort of a training. Also, paparazzi energy. The Sun card. It reminds me of a celebrity, right? Or again, someone that's in that's like in the public eye, all right? Or again, the center of attention, right? As the Sun is the center of our universe. Um, the Chariot. Yeah. Definitely could be distance in between um, in between you guys. Yeah, which could add to them feeling like they're not getting enough of your attention. Come on, lighting, right? Yeah. Four of Swords, rest and relaxation, rejuvenation, reflecting even sexual tension here as well. This person may be dreaming about you. Yeah, sexual tension, the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person feels like you have multiple options. That's what I'm saying. This person feels like you have multiple options. And if people get around you, <laughs> they're they going to fight. They're going to be mad. They're going to be heartbroken. <laughs> they don't want to miss their opportunity. <laughs> yep. I'm getting that Britney Spears song. I'm a slave for you. Who likes Britney Spears here? <laughs> Yep, strong presence, or this is them wanting to take a leap of faith into that sun, wanting to take the leap of faith into your joy and happiness, right? So they've been watching you grow something very very um, positive that they want to be a part of here. Mm, more high court cards. Ooh, we got three kings. Jesus. Definitely feels like masculine energy. The King of Pentacles, very grounded, very supportive, very stable, good financially. Right? The King of Wands, very creative, very attractive, right? Mm -hmm. A leader. Um, this may be a naturalist as well. <coughs> Strong manifester. The King of Cups, there's a romance here. Be very intuitive or very psychic, energy sensitive. I mean, all the kings are pretty much leaders. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, a slow-moving offer, some sort of a gift, or this is my engagement coming towards you card. So, yeah, this person that's coming towards you, they're, they're super masculine. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords. They could be very honest and very truthful, right? Or this can be indicative of the relationship that they want to have with you here. An Ace of Swords, a moment of truth. It reminds me of um, the Queen of England when she knights people and upgrades them. Yep. Two threes. Mm -hmm. This person wants you. Sometimes when people hold in crushes and stuff like that, it, it oof. I don't want to necessarily say it becomes toxic, but it does hurt. That Brandy song, When You Love Someone So Bad It Makes You Cry Here, and on that album Full Moon, Two Sevens Here, this is them again. <laughs> My person. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then a bunch of sores. They're, they, they may be confused. You leave this person confused, or again, you're just constantly on this person's mind. They probably watch and stalk your social medias. They may even know that they may be developing a toxic uh, um, attachment to you mentally, right? <laughs> eh, I mean, you could take it in a positive way, though. I mean, if someone's, if, see, that's the thing. If you can have, and I have this type of effect on people, if you can have the type 2442, <laughs> If you can have, or someone can have this type of effect on you, that's when you know, I mean, outside of it being a codependent obsession, 
if you still think about someone even when they're not around, right? Even when you're in the presence of other people, that that shows how much you care about that person or how that person makes you feel, right? Like a true love connection or something like that. Like you can't wait to hang out with your friends after school. Now imagine a romantic connection when you're mature, right? And someone that this person that's constantly thinking about you, even if you're not around, right? That person loves you, right? Just use your discernment. But yeah, <laughs> this is this is them. <laughs> I want my person. I can't sleep at night. Talk to me. <laughs>